and let's solve this example. A stone is projected vertically upwards with a velocity of 30 meters per second from the ground. Calculate the maximum height. Calculate the time of light. As a solution for A is equal to initial velocity is 30, the gravity is equal to 10. What is the maximum height? Maximum height is equal to initial velocity square of the initial velocity is 30, 30 square over 2 times gravity. Is this? What's, what's that? Patrick, can you see it? Huh? What's going on? What is this? Relax, relax, calm down. I'm here to help you. But what really are you? I'm Dr. Fizzo. I'm here to help you understand physics. It's a really hard subject, isn't it? But how are you going to help us? Are you a gene? Are you going to give us exam papers? No, don't be funny. I'll show you how it will be, but not here. But where? Not far, just another universe. <laughs> what? Oh, no school uniform. Oh, cool. Welcome to my universe. Here, I'll show you that physics is just as easy as a computer game. You'll not just learn it, you'll live it. Huh? We're in a game? Yes. Cool. cool. But to play this wonderful game, we need to revise the last topic that you did in physics. Projectile motion. Oh, uh, here even. Okay, operator, let's take it to game mode. Let's have a look at what we did last time. Projectile motion, my favorite topic. I didn't expect that. Okay, let's do a little revision of what we did last time. We have an object, we have a horizontal ground, we throw the object at a velocity of V0 at an angle of theta from the ground. Now, let's see the motion that the object makes. Ah, that's the motion that we discussed last time. There are three main formulas that we use for this time kind of motion. One, time of flight, which is 2v0 sin theta over g. The second one is maximum height, which is v0 squared sin squared theta over 2g. And the third one is horizontal range r, which is V0 squared times sine 2 theta over G. Let's clear the screen. Now, let us think of how we can put this into some real life applications. Imagine you're in World War One without any computers to do the targeting for you. You have to do this manually. So think of a cannon operator. He has to calculate the angle to put his cannon in order to hit the enemy target at a distance somewhere far. So, for example, we have a cannon operator here, we have a hill here, and we have the enemy target here. The hill is 292 meters high, the distance between the cannon operator and the enemy target is 1690 meters. The cannon shoots at a velocity of 130 meters per second. How do we find the angle at which the cannon should be set in order to hit this enemy target. We use the formulas that we already talked about. Let us use the maximum height formula. Now, let's, uh, the maximum height formula is, says V0 squared times sine squared theta over 2G. Let us substitute the values that we have into this formula. It becomes 130 squared times sine squared theta, which is the unknown, over 2 times 10, 
When we do all these calculations, we come up with a value, theta is equal to 36 degrees. Now, we adjust our canon to 36 degrees, five. That, that is how we do such things. Now, it's your turn to use these formulas. Let's see if you actually learned anything. How about a situation where there are two tanks, tank A and tank B? The distance between these two tanks is 3,500 meters. Ian is in tank A, Omer is in tank B. Tank A shoots its missiles at a velocity of 293 meters per second. Tank B shoots its missiles at 310 meters per second. Now, calculate the angle at which you should fire your missiles in order to hit the enemy target. Whoever manages to shoot the other tank first wins the game. Operator, tank simulation. Ian, you're in a helicopter, 200 meters above the ground. Omer, you're in the same tank, 360 meters away from the helicopter. The helicopter shoots its missiles horizontally and the velocity can be adjusted. So Ian, calculate the velocity needed in order to hit the tank. And Omer, adjust your angle in order to hit the helicopter. Now, load the tank and helicopter simulation. As you can see, physics is just like a game. The result is 45 meters. And what does it be? Very strong return. Yes, lesson is your work, simulator. Is that a dream? Did you see the same dream? I don't know. Maybe it wasn't a dream. Wow.